hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is quite um the first of a kind so i'm starting today to talk to you about my first ever campo store and this um, first campo store took place at the ljubljana university in slovenia so for those of you who follow me on instagram you must have known by now that in the first week of October, I did travel to Ljubljana, Slovenia. I hope I'm pronouncing it well for work. So I went for work purposes. I'm working on a project that works with young people from different parts of the world on the impact of COVID-19 on youth work and international solidarity. So I went there for work and after um, my seminar was finished and I had some time um, to just go around on a Saturday to do sightseeing, I decided to go to the Ljubljana University. Hello guys, this is Delphine Konda and I'm very excited to welcome you to my first campus tour, which is going to take place in the Ljubljana University campus. This is the very first that I'm doing on this channel and I'll be taking you around with me. So I'm here in the uh, University of Ljubljana in Slovenia and this is the university campus. It's a really small campus, but it's surrounded by really beautiful, um, beautiful buildings. Um, um good shopping center very close by so i'm going to take you around the university and also around the city so you can see if you are a student an international student that has um, gotten admission at the university of ljubljana you can see some of the things that you can do around the city if you um, gain admission and you're living in this country so don't forget to subscribe to like share and comment on this video and let me know if you love to know more about other the campuses around um, Europe and the world and I'll keep taking you along with me as I travel to different parts. So the first thing that I did before going out that day was that I did check on the website of the university to see and on the website of the university it says that University of Ljubljana is the oldest and largest higher education and scientific research institution in Slovenia that the university was founded in 1919 and it has approximately 40,000 undergraduate and postgraduate students and employ approximately 6,000 higher education teachers, researchers, assistants, etc. And also on the university website, you would see that the university does accept international students and it offers a variety of scholarships, which you can all check on the university website. The very first thing I want to say that I found the city to be extremely safe, um, especially for me as a black person. I always take note because racism is real, but I did not encounter any of it um, in Slovenia, maybe because I was in kind of a bubble with people that are very intercultural and have a lot of experience working with um, international people. But what I saw was that I saw many Africans and non-africans but not non-whites as well uh, many people of color in the city and so it kind of made me realize that the city is very intercultural another thing is that it's quite a small city because everything was literally around the city center i i stayed in this very beautiful hostel called hostel selika which was a former prison mm-hmm I spend nights behind bars. <laughs> so I stayed at Hotel Selika and from there it was literally um, very close, like 10 to 15, maximum 20 minutes walk to go to the city center where you could find anything. So from my hostel to the city center was a walking distance and the university is literally in the heart of the city. Guys, this is the university it's um really beautiful it's very airy surrounded by a very beautiful um park where you could um come and sit and also i visited the library the library is uh, one of the most captivating things that i found it's just located behind um, the main building that i saw it was a saturday so there were not many students on campus as such so i didn't have the opportunity to go into the classrooms but i went into the library and the library is um very artistic um, from what i read um, the architect who did the design 
was um doing it with um a futuristic view you know just thinking like in the 21st century people are going to be more technology oriented not wanting to come and sit in the library and read books like you know like the traditional ways so he wanted that kind of a space where it would not just be a library where you can come and sit and read your books but also something that um has this classic feeling where you feel like you're going for some kind of sightseeing or some museum so it has like really classic um a classical touch that was added to it and i really liked that about the library and from the library i walked straight to the city center itself which is where the university is literally located and you would find that um it has um like a stream passing along like there's like a river so it gives that you know that beautiful air around you there's also um, lots and lots of restaurants and bars around where in case you want to eat if you leave school late and you can't cook it's really easy to get um, something to eat you could go from having i noticed that you could go from literally having um intercontinental dishes to traditional slovenian dishes and you could find literally all kinds of food from pizza to really high cuisine you know sophisticated cuisine you could find them along the shopping street with people sitting outside bars and eating just watching the boats passing through in the river tourists uh, moving all around okay guys Hello. hi Hello. we're from italy gorizia ah i'm from cameroon ah, in africa Givio. central africa <laughs> What do you say, Givio? Givio. Givio in Givio? Slovenia. But uh, we in, are... Uh, in, from Italy, how do you say? Ciao. 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 I have been to um, Italy before, like once. I've been to Italy once. Uh, Phenomeni, si dice. Ah. Phenomeni. Phenomeni, yeah. si dice. Si. Phenomeni. Okay, so my YouTube channel is Delphine Fonda. So D-E. Mm -hmm. No, D. D. Uh, like this. <laughs> can find literally all the malls around just around the school campus which is something that is really nice so you don't have to stress to go to a different direction to get basic things from household items to clothes shoes um, electronics literally everything was in that shopping center and i found it really interesting so if you are an international student and you have um, Slovenia as a location in mind there you might want to check out the website of the university which I'm going to leave on the screen of this video check it out and see if that is a location that you are interested to go and study um, let me know in the comment section if you would like me to do more campus tours and I can start um, to visit more campus each time that I visit a new city or a new country Thank you so much for watching up to this point. Um, if you did enjoy, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave me a comment. Until we meet again, guys, as always, don't forget to create some impact. Oh,